Hi everybody, it's Linda. Welcome back to Tips For You. Well today I want to show you how to do forehead massage. And we're going to focus in on the forehead today because the forehead is a place where we hold a lot of tension. And those muscles are working all day long with expressions and concentration. That's why we get headaches there, tension headaches, because of the muscles that are contracting. And if you're involved in something stressful, if you're studying, working on the computer, you, work, you tend to hold those muscles very tight. So every day, it's a great idea if you incorporate massage for your facial muscles. Today we're going to focus on the forehead. And with forehead massage, you will loosen those muscles and wipe away that tension. It will help prevent wrinkles and it can reverse wrinkles as well. And that's why I'm recommending it today. It has really worked wonders for me. I've seen tremendous benefits from facial massage and that's why I want to share it with you. You'll bring oxygen rich blood to the surface of your skin. It helps build collagen. Um, remember to breathe while you're doing it. Just keep that breathing, that deep breathing going. Just really make it a really relaxing experience for you. Okay, so let's get right into it. So all you're going to need is something that is going to allow your fingertips to glide over your forehead. So you can use either your favorite moisturizer, like if you're acne prone, you have a good moisturizer, you can use that or you can use an oil. And I use an oil. I don't have any problems with the oils on my skin. They all suit me well. So you can use either um, jojoba oil, avocado oil, olive oil, sweet almond oil, um, coconut oil, or castor oil. And I'm going to be using jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is very non-comedogenic, so if you have sensitive skin or you get pimples very easily I, and you want to use an oil, try the jojoba oil. It's the closest oil to human sebum, so it's very light. Um, it absorbs very well. I love it. It's best to do your facial massage on clean skin. You can wash off residual oil after you're finished, or you can leave it on as part of your nightly moisturizing treatment. Love it. So all you have to do is take a little bit of it and place it on your fingers. Okay? I don't mind. I know I have my makeup on, but it's okay. I'm done for the day. And the next step for me is just going in the shower. And so get it on your fingertips okay, of your hands, and what we're going to do is we're going to start at the temples. You're going to apply some, you're going to apply some firm pressure at your temples. Now you're not going to be rubbing your skin in a circle. You're going to be firmly pressing and you're going to be moving the skin over the bones. Okay, that's what you're doing. You're moving the skin over the bones. You're gliding over the bones on your temples and you can move them you know wherever you think you find a little spot that feels tense or if you feel any pain um, like right here I'm pressing and it, I feel like the tension relieving in my forehead feels really good so you can sit there as long as you like okay but you only need about two minutes to three minutes to do this for the benefits to really happen for you. So don't think you need a lot of time for this. So what you're going to do is with those circular motions you're going to work your way towards the center of your head. Okay? Be gentle on your skin. Stay closer to the eyebrow for now. And then we can go up higher with the second round. And then you're going to meet in the middle. When you get to the middle, put your fingertips in alignment like this with your fingers open and I want you to press firmly and sweep out across your forehead and back to your temples. And then you're going to repeat what we just did again. I'm going to start here with small circles at the temples. And you're going to start bringing your fingers towards the center. And if you want to now go up a little bit higher and work towards the center, that's what you can do. And when you meet in the middle, align your fingers and sweep out. Now I recommend you do three sets um, because you want to get the whole span of your forehead doing circular motion. So if you start close to the eyebrow and then you do the middle and then you do up near the hairline and then you cover the whole forehead and then you do the sweeping motion out. 
After you've done that, I want you to go back to the center of your forehead and I want you to do five sweeping motions. You can do as many as you like, but I usually do five. And just sweep out. Come back to the middle and sweep out. This is the most relaxing thing. It really relaxes those tense muscles. And sweep out. And sweep out. And again, sweep out and sweep out. You can also do the sweep out motion using one hand to sweep out. Where one hand stays in place in the center of your forehead and is holding the forehead skin in place while the other hand sweeps out. Then you just alternate sides. This method can provide greater targeted massage to the underlying muscles. If you do do the one hand sweep outs, you should always follow up with several of the two hand sweep outs as I demonstrated. Remember to breathe. Now I'm doing a video so I'm talking so I'm not able to practice my deep breathing but if I were doing this myself in the, you know, in the bathroom I would be, or in the shower, you can do it in the shower, I would be breathing while I'm doing it keeping my eyes closed and just letting my body relax. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to focus now on this area between your eyes, the bridge of your nose. We get horizontal um, wrinkles here from, you know, sneezing, squinting, blowing our noses, just making facial expressions. So what we want to do is just start gently just running your finger in that area. Just get the blood going in that spot. And then we're going to be sweeping up and out, starting in that spot and going into this center area here where we get our frown lines. So we want to start bringing that out, okay? So just start with your, um, your middle finger, then you'll transfer the pressure as you go up to the ring finger, then the pinky finger. So you're keeping all those fingers going. So we're going to start with those with the middle fingers on either side of the bridge of the nose, right in the small area there. And then you're going to start sweeping up, follow with the ring finger, and then follow with the pinky and sweep out. Okay, simple, right? Just sweeping up and out. And the little pinky finger really gets close in the middle there in between those 11s and sweep it out. So again, I'll do it again for you. You just start with the middle finger, start sweeping up, followed by the ring finger, followed by the pinky finger, and up and out. Now, what you can do is you can start making wider circles. So you can sweep even further out on the forehead, okay? So really get the whole forehead. This feels wonderful. So you can start in over the eyebrows in the beginning, and then you work your way up and out, making bigger circles. And that really focuses, I like to do this too, with my ring finger, just stay in the middle there. Remember, you're moving out. Try not to you know, yank your skin around too much because we don't want to create wrinkles, so. And the last thing that I always do is pressure points. So take your thumbs, and put them up here, right under the ridge of your eyebrow, right on either side of your nose, and just press in, okay? There's like a little knobby thing there. Just press in firmly there. It might feel a little annoying, but that's good. You want to do that because it stimulates blood flow to that area. And then just work your way all around, and you can switch fingers. There's no set way here. Um, all the way around, the orbital bone all the way to the end and that's it that's the forehead massage to really hone in on the area that gets the most tension and gets the most use and is most wrinkle prone and that's how you can prevent and reverse wrinkles in that area this is a great anti-aging treatment for your skin um, facial massage
So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I hope you'll give it a try. I think you're really going to love it. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And also let me know below if you've started doing facial massage um, after watching my last video on it, if I've inspired you because I think you really will love making this a part of your um, nighttime routine. And I have, I'm going to have a video coming up as well on my nighttime get unready with me um, routine. So stay tuned for that. And please subscribe because I have a lot more to come. Something of interest to everyone. And please visit me at my blog spot where I do a lot of writing. And I'm also on Facebook and Twitter so we can stay connected there as well. Okay, well thanks so much for viewing. Bye-bye now.